Are we live? We are live. Why are you looking at me like that? Girl, let it flow. (laughs) Let it flow. Hi, lovelies. Happy Friday. Oh, my gosh. As you can see, we are having fun at the DL office today. We are bringing you a special Facebook Live with the fabulous Demetria McKinley. I ain't fabulous yet. Right now, I look like a a, a baby chick. (laughs) Y'all. Y'all. And our Style Squad member, Buki. She is going to show us. An amazing spring festival hairstyle on tight for hair. Ooh. That's right. Sexy. I'm four ladies. I'm four ladies. <laughs> Don't try to we take away from her either. You know what I'm Don't talking try about? To take away from her. Yeah, it's real. Her. So throughout uh, today's Facebook Live, you can send us questions. You can um, leave comments for Demetria and Buki. Mm-hmm. Just don't ask us nothing crazy because you will get filtered out. Okay. Right. Okay. So we're gonna get to it. Buki, we will let you take over to make Dimitri the goddess that she is. I'm not looking like that right now. I was literally <laughs> nailing all kinds of help, help people. Okay. <laughs> okay, Buki, tell us, like, what is the style that you're going to create for Dimitri today? So we're going to create a fun festival look for Afropunk. I know all my New York City lovelies and people from outside of New York that are coming into Afropunk are going to, like, want a new, new styles. So we are doing a cute little Afro um, mohawk look on my boo today. And um, I asked her to wash her hair. (laughs) Can I say something? (laughs) Okay. So I washes her hair in the flats. See. Must happen, otherwise I walk out looking like tangled, and it's not good. It's not cute. It's not. Um, and I don't. And mommy use, doesn't use combs. And I don't use combs. She don't use combs. I mean, I like it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this makes it a lot easier. Plus the drying time. Listen, the drying time. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it takes forever. Am I am I correct, Church? Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So. It takes forever for it to dry. So for those of you who have wet hair for four or five days, try this. I know it ain't the cutest. You look a little bit like one of the howdy duties. But she look cute, right? But you always look cute. But the end result is going to be great. Right. Do you see this face? (laughs) Beat. We'll be gods. Okay. Um, Okay. (laughs) So today, um, what we're going to start off, so she has her hair freshly washed using Dark and Lovely products. And um, we are going, so right now we have a hair section into multiple sections so that um, I can cornrow the side of, side of her hair. Um, so right now what we're going to do is just going to add a little bit of curl definition to her hair. And we're going to use the, t- um, the gel and twist butter. Twist and gel butter. Yes. Yes, yes. I really, really love this twist product. Twist gel and butter. Twist gel and butter. I really, really love this product because it takes all the guesswork out of, okay, I got to do this and I got to have to, it's already cocktail for you. You just twist it and it comes out and the gel and the um, butter mix together and you just work it through your hair and doll it is just fabulous. And it smells divine. All of these products divine. smell really, 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 really good. All right, so we're going to take out that, you know. Sealy number one. Sealy <laughs> number one right now. So she's letting me use a comb just to take out her. So I don't want to disturb the curl too much. Okay, can me and y'all have a private moment? She ain't listening, they ain't here. Listen, when you go get your hair done with anybody, y'all see I'm up here at the dark and lovely offices, right? And I underdig the fact that they actually found somebody who knows about natural hair. Not everybody knows that. We witnessed it on television when the young lady tried to do that under one minute thing, didn't work out. It ain't gonna happen here. You know what I'm talking about? So make sure that the people that are in your head know what they're doing and deserve to be there. In, yeah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Camilla Brown just asked what is type 4 hair Buki can you answer that yeah so um, essentially the typing hair typing system is something that was created by Oprah Winfrey's uh, hair stylist, old hair stylist Andre Walker which was a way to kind of classify um, hair textures it's an easier way for women to be able to identify their textures and their curl patterns and so it's based upon um, numbers and letters so numbers one through four are your curl patterns. So one will be straight, two will be wavy, three will be curly, four will be coily kinky. And so to answer your question, she is four, curly kinky. I'm in now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be looking like she's got no, she's a three. No, honey, four on day long. Mm-hmm. Buki, would you say that she's like a four A or four B or I Say she's closer to about a 4B. Okay. Um, upon when I first saw her hair, I was like, okay, she's a 4A because her texture is a little finer. Okay. Um, but once you get up in here, 
Um, it's a lot of hair. <laughs> she has a lot of hair. So we want to make sure that we are, um, you know, all her little strands count. Uh, you know, <laughs> all all strands matter. All and so, strands matter. Oh my god! <laughs> and, so, and so, I would class her as a four B. Got it. However, comma, what I want to say with my unprofessional tail is that the front of my hair used to be more like a four A three C, and the back was. <laughs> and since I, <laughs> I'm so serious. Since I've really, really started hydrating and since I've been using the Dark and Lovely products, everything has become way more uniform. I still feel like I have a couple of different textures in a couple, a couple of different places, but everything is a lot more uniform. Everything flows together a lot more synergistically. Yes, she has an education. <laughs> Let them know. Yeah. Everything, everything Let them know. Use those together. words, girl. You better, you better use them. So much better. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes the fact that you have a couple of different curl mm -hmm. patterns, especially for transitioners, when you have that straight on the bottom, mm -hmm. you got a kid and play on your head at the same time, um, <laughs> that can be really difficult to navigate, especially when you're doing the detangling. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, understanding the different type of hair that you have in your head, even if it is just one, hallelujah, bless you. <laughs> As for me, <laughs> in my house, we had five, and now I think we're down to two. Yes. Buki, Talisha yeah. Parker just asked, how do you know what type of, what your hair type is, basically? Your hair type number. Yeah, so, like I said earlier, it's just based upon your uh, numbers and letters. And so, for numbers, like I said, one is straight, two is wavy, three is curly, four is coily kinky. You can de decipher whether or not you have an A, B, or C based upon the coarseness of your hair. So it's uh, defined as fine, medium, and coarse. And so essentially, sometimes, sometimes people think that, oh, if I have a lot of hair, it's coarse. Um, but essentially, it's the, how your hair grows out of your scalp. So the diameter, so the thickness of the diameter of that. This curl versus this curl, right? Do it again. This mm -hmm. curl versus this curl. That oh, like, uh, yeah. like yeah. the size of the curls. Yes, ma'am. Let that education show him. Yes, Look at you. Yes, he did it. Look at you. He did it. Look at you. I'm All right. To that. So we so we have put the twist gel and butter in her hair. Now we're going to go to an old school classic. Oh my gosh. I used to use this in high school. High school. Yes. High school, like nobody's business. Let's jam. Uh, extra hold. Y'all remember this? Give Absolutely. Y'all remember that? We remember. Give me, give me the, the wave, yes. We remember that because they used to hold us down in high school. Never forget where you began. Anyway, so essentially, we're going to use that to corner her hair. I like to use it in order to make sure that the style stays nice and sleek. Got it. So while you're doing that, Buki, I'm going to um, send you some questions from our viewers. Thank you all for tuning in. By the way, we love you, lovelies. Um, okay, so. I'm going to put in all the questions. What can I use for extra dry hair? Uh, Vicky asked, in terms of, like, the dark and lovely portfolio, like, what could she use? To, I, you know, I would say moisture lock, but I want you to answer Buki for sure since you're the stylist. Um, so anything, so first of all, all of dark and lovely products, especially with the all-natural the all collection. Are you okay? Am I doing you okay? Are you all right? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, you sure? Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not hurting David. Right. When I tell y'all, some of these people be braiding thoughts from the third grade. <laughs> she catching every hair, but I have my own memories to myself. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Um, so essentially, there there's several products from the collection, um, All Natural collection that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, I would actually want to figure out why your hair is dry. Um, are you using um, deep conditioners? How often are you shampooing? Uh, are you taking the time out to do steam treatments? Um, are you um, making sure to protect your hair at nighttime? So a lot of times we um, think that like, oh, uh, my hair is super dry and I just use a product to fix it. No, products are used to kind of supplement your regimen and around your hair. So just make, making sure that you have the full thing. So as for products, you can use... The Cool Moisturizing Souffle. Can you see that? Mm -hmm, they can see. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, to kind of help with some definition and moisture of your hair. I love that. Um, but yeah, just try to make sure that you have a full scale of products and regimen to support. What about... 
What about um, like any? Sorry, Shanta just whispered something in my ear. <laughs> what about a daily regimen, though? Like that's for definition. Of course, it adds a moisture. But in terms of like washing her hair, should she be using any specific products that add moisture on the daily? Like you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm asking the question correctly for Vicky. <laughs> Um, so, like, what from the Dark and Lovely collection? Yeah, like, what could she use? Um, there's a cleanser. So, this isn't the cleanser, though. But this this system, actually, Demetria used The curl system. Yeah, the curl system. Can we talk a little bit more about your uh, regimen? Go ahead, tell me. This, is, this is where I got to jump in on my freestyle flow. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Um, being natural, it was hard for me to figure out how to keep my hair from getting super dry. And I think that the combination of deep treatments... Okay, our hair is naturally dry, period, point blank. If you are adding heat to your hair, that's going to sop up some of the moisture. If you are sleeping on cotton or using cotton products on your hair, that's going to sop up some of the moisture. Going out outside is going to soak up some of the moisture. Me personally, I moisturize my hair every day. And I think that sometimes we get confused about what moisture is versus hydration. Hydration, true moisture can only come from water, period, point blank. You've heard of moisturizing and sealing. Um, the Dark and Lovely Au Naturel line has the lock method, which is a liquid oil cream, layering the product so that you actually have a layer of moisture in your hair that your hair can feed off of and nourish itself with on a daily basis is super, super cool. But the other part of it is internally, oh, you got to love me from within too, folks. You know, you got to drink water. You have to hydrate yourself. Mm -hmm. All that soda... The beverages. Hey. Oh. <laughs> All of this stuff that we do tends to dry us out. And you'll see an improvement in not only your hair, but your skin, your eyes, your, your flexibility, your limbs. Everything will just run so much more smoothly if you moisturize from within as well. Lovely. Look at you, Misha. Hey, hey, hey. Kill him. I taught her everything she knows. She did. She did. In five minutes. <laughs> Okay, we have a lot of questions coming in. So, Shay asked Buki, the tightness of your curl determines your grade, like your hair grade? Mm -hmm. Um, your hair grade. I don't know yeah. if I like the word grade. grade. Right. Um, because that makes it seem as if, like, there's a premium and that right. there's, there's, there's something better. Um, so your curl pattern is just that, your curl pattern. Right. Um, your texture is, again, just that, your curl pattern. It is, it's not really on a graded system. Um, so to answer your question, your curl pattern is your curl pattern. So whatever you whatever you fall under, as with one, two, three, or four, is what your curl pattern is. I wouldn't necessarily say grade. Okay. Demetria, we have a fun question for you. Oh, shit. <laughs> From earlier, we had, a, we had someone earlier ask, why'd you... Wait, what did she ask us? Why'd you kick Roger Bob to the curb? Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> Jackpot, baby. Jackpot. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe so, I should zoom wait, in. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe I should zoom, zoom in on this one. So you need a sip of wine. Hey, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sip a little bit. I'm going to sip a little bit. And I'm going to tell y'all some stuff y'all wasn't really ready to hear. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look, her phone blowing up. Mm. Whatever. <laughs> right, it's, it's like, like going. Baby, please. <laughs> okay. Roger and I have been the best of friends for a decade plus, okay? And when we got engaged, I was super happy. He was super happy. But sometimes in the planning of life together, you realize that you're not really ready for life together. You can love the Hades out of somebody. But I loved him enough not to go through a divorce. Um, we've seen several examples from that RHOA and others where people left the ring and they have everything else wrong. I would rather wait on the ring get the relationship right with whoever I'm going to be in my relationship with. And um, that is why Roger and I are parted ways. We are still really cool. There is no shade. There is no love lost. It was amicable. We're good. Good. But aside from that, honey, I got to find what, what's supposed to be going on versus what everybody said should be going on. Mm. Oh. Woo. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Snaps. Cheers. We ain't got no tea, but... <laughs> we ain't got no tea. Yeah, we got some wine, though. <laughs> we, got, we got some wine. Wine before now. Uh, Buki Nefertiti asks, how can I keep my 4C hair moisturized and manageable? Mm. I think that um, we've kind of discussed the the daily regimen. 
Yeah. Make it your, what was her name? Nefertiti? Nefertiti. I have a First tattoo. of all, your name is beautiful, Nefertiti. It is gorgeous. Yeah, and I have a tattoo of Nefertiti on my leg, but I think oh, I'm going to be ashy, so I can't show you. We don't want to see your ashy. We don't, don't want to see your ashy. But, um, yeah, so as for a daily regimen, okay, so this is something that I tell my clients all the time. You need to be committed to your hair just as, as you are, or you should be committed to your teeth. So what? you wash that every single day. You Hopefully, you brush your teeth. <laughs> Scrape your tongue every single day. And so, and so the dedication <laughs> that it takes to make sure that your hair is moisturized is a daily commitment. Some people who have different textures are able to go two days without moisturizing. But if you have a really co like coarse texture that gets dry and brittle on the daily, you need to make sure that you're moisturizing it. Definitely the lock method. Um, I've actually kind of figured for myself my own individual hair texture and some of my clients that have four texture four. A, B, C textures. What works better is actually the LCO method. Um, LOC. The LCO. LCO. What's that? Cream before yeah. the oil. Ooh. Yeah, cream before the oil. Catch up! <laughs> Mustard! <laughs> and I say that because um, oil in anything is a sealant. Yes. And so it seals the, the product in your hair. So essentially when you use the, the liquid... So liquid oil cream. You want to use the cream before the oil so the oil can slick it up, capture it, and keep it in your hair. So for four C, I mean for four textures, I would say to make sure that you're committed to it daily through the LCO method or LOC. Find out what works best for you though. Don't just YouTube University will have have y'all up <laughs> out here looking YouTube messed University. up. Because, you know, we take the, you know, the opinions and the thoughts of some of our social media influencers, which is great because they're awesome and they're fly. But at the same time, you have to also make sure that you're doing what's best for you. So definitely do a little trial and error between which LOC or LCO works best for you. And then um, making sure they can maintain moisture. And then also making sure that you are keeping up with your night routine. A lot of times women will express, oh, my hair is so dry in the morning, I feel like I do everything. But you're not doing anything to your hair at night. So... A uh, satin cap, put a, use the one that has the elastic around where it doesn't fall out at night time. Great answer. Can I, can I say something? You can say something. <laughs> what she said was perfect. I want to add on the tail end of that. Don't wait till it's too late. By the time you are seeing through the bottom of your hair or when you do like this, it looks like you're making it rain at the club by the ends just flying off. <laughs> <laughs> we in the club. It, it is too late. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention to your hair. It is a daily relationship, as she said. You know, for those of y'all that may not necessarily take too much care of them teeth, you need teeth. Make that relationship like your face. You look at your face every day. You can tell if you got a pimple, if your eyebrow is off. You can tell if your skin is dry. You can tell if you got a new wrinkle. You can tell all of that because you are looking at it every single day. Like she said, make sure that you are really, really committed to it. It is a relationship. Love it. Love Shanita it. is asking, is it better to do the big chop? To start being natural or, um, no, actually, is it better to do the big chop to start off being natural? And if so, when is it the best time in your life to do it? And I think in your life, that's more personal, but mm -hmm. Buki can definitely, and Demetria too can speak to like, when is it best to do the big chop if you want to go natural? Or is it best? The best time to do anything with your hair, including a big chop, is when you're ready to do it. So, Snacks. you need to be... You need to do your research, whether you're choosing to do transition or whether you're choosing to do the big chop. Because with either, or whether, even relax, you know, I know we're talking about a natural segment right now, but like whatever you choose, you do it when it's best for you. As for the big chop, I do think that it's easier on your hair when you do the big chop because when you have relaxed hair, when you're transitioning, mm -hmm. that's essentially, um, for those who don't know what transitioning is, when we have relaxed and natural hair coexisting in the same head. Relaxed hair is heavier than natural hair. Mm -hmm. So essentially what you do is what it's heavier. So you'll notice like maybe after eight weeks of not, maybe eight to ten weeks of not relaxing hair, your hair will start to pop. like, And it's popping at the line of demarcation where your natural hair meets your relaxed hair. Mm -hmm. And so because your relaxed hair is heavier, what's happening is that it's going to start to break. And so ultimately you're going to have to make the decision to transition fully into natural or get a relaxer 
Um, but the best time to do it is what's be- when it's best for you. But also just understanding your lifestyle. If you're not the kind of person who's like, oh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel comfortable with the big chop. If you're going to do the big chop and you want to do it, get a protective style after. I know some some of my clients who's like, yo, I'm just gonna get braids for a couple of months. Do that. Um, but for as for transitioning or when when is it, when it's best and when it's not best, the best time is when you say it's the best time. But for weigh your options, do your research, and make the best decision for you. Bloop. Sorry. But not Sorry. when you emotional. <laughs> Don't be running around here looking like Angela Bassett on uh, Wait to Exhale. Cut it off! But her and hair. then you wake up tomorrow and you upset. But her Maybe. hair ended up looking so fly. And it did, but yours may not. You don't know what's under there, honey. You don't know proof. if you got... She had a TV You don't proof. know if you got lumps, she dips, had... valleys in that head. You don't know what's going she on. So lumps, when you... No, I, that, no, and I'm saying... Let me, let me back up. Let me... I did the big shot. Down to where you couldn't roll my hair with rice, okay? And when I did it, I did not like it. Can I did not her? like the shape of my head. I felt like I looked like a brachiosaurus. And I went and I got Excuse a me. fake what is that? Arrow. Hi, what I is felt, that? I felt, I felt, I felt <laughs> like I, I, went, I went and got this fake Afro puff that I didn't even have enough hair to keep it on my head. Walking through Walmart, hair on the ground. Walking in the mall, hair on the ground. Laying in the bed with the boo get up, hair is on the pillow without me. I did not like it. I did not like it. It was much easier to transition. But for me, being used to always having hair, being used to always being able on a bad day to just put my hair up in a ponytail, for me, that grow out process was a little bit different. That middle stage where your hair ain't quite short enough to do a TWA but ain't quite long enough to really do the other styles that you see the YouTube vixens doing, that can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. So you really have to make sure that it is, like she said, when you are ready for it. Not because some dude pissed you off. Not because you're having a bad hair day. Not because, you know what, I just feel like a change in my life is necessary. Honey, go get on a treadmill. Go do something less permanent until you are truly ready to make that kind of a commitment because you are really relearning your hair all over again if you big chop. Love it. Two snaps oh, on the twirl. Advice. Honey, my hair was funny. <laughs> <laughs> two, two snaps. Um, Buki Bree Bree asked, what if your natural hair lost some of its curl pattern? What can you do to make the curls come back? Can you? That's a tough one. Um... Can we ask her, is it heat damage? Bree Bree Smith, if you're still watching, can you let us know if you have heat damage or... What exactly? Because if it's permanent, to answer the question generally, if it's permanently damaged through um, heat... Um, also, I just also want to say that when you put your hair up in these really tight ponytails or these really tight styles, don't get it twisted. You can lose your curl pattern by those tension styles because they do compromise the integrity of your hair because it's being stretched for so long. And so I know those, you know, those little puffs are super cute and you do them, but just don't do them so often that you're going to lose um, your curl pattern. Got it. Got it. Come on in the room. Now you gotta introduce We have a beautiful crystal. Now you gotta introduce Now you gotta You look beautiful. Come on, come on the camera. This is Crystal, the PR director. I just like walked in to like magic. You look beautiful. Thank you. She getting me together. Crystal, introduce yourself. Crystal, come over. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal Thompson. I oversee brand communications for Dark and Lovely. Ooh, and she's whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. It's a party in here today. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's very um, zen, isn't it? Yeah. I love you. Thank you. To meet you. We have another question. Oh, I'm scared after the last one. <laughs> it was by Roger Bob. <laughs> okay, people, people, so people. someone wants to know. They heard that you are going to be in the Bobby Christina biopic. Is it true? <laughs> Is it true or not? <laughs> or not? Tis true. Clink 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 clink. Tis true. Um, yeah, you did hear it here first, but you will hear more about that later on. Ooh. So y'all stay tuned. Ooh. Ooh. You're welcome, <laughs> Vicky. Let's see. I'm looking through more questions for you all so we can answer all of your questions. 
Oh, okay. Buki, Victoria yeah. White. She asked, she said, every time I try to go natural, my scalp gets sore. And it feels like knots come on my scalp. What can I do? I want healthy hair. I don't know if knots come on your scalp, Victoria. Wait, what did she say? She said that every time she tries to go natural, her scalp gets sore. And it feels like knots come on her scalp. What can she do? She wants healthy hair. Interesting right. question. You know what, Demetria? <laughs> yeah. We just going to zoom I out your face. I say, um, so this is the perfect example, and I hope that all our beautiful, dark, and lovely dolls are listening. This is when you would go and seek the support of a dermatologist. Cosmetologists, we're great. Cosmetologists, hair stylists. We're great. We understand, you know, we understand hair, but when it comes down to knots and soreness, that may be a myriad of issues where it can be medication, it could be, you know, stress, whatever. Seek the support of a dermatologist, one um, that knows about scalp and hair issues, to support you, Victoria. We hope that helps, Victoria. Someone said that they love your facial expressions, Demetria. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I, I'm going to reiterate why I made that expression. Um, I have a friend who actually did go through something very similar, um, but it was because, as she said, relaxed hair is heavier. Um, natural hair is a different texture. It grows out differently, and when you don't have that weighed down thing happening, your scalp also has an adjustment to make, too. So some of the tension, some of the tenderness and all of that stuff, she experienced the same thing. Now, it didn't last for more than a month, so if it lasts you longer than a month or so, you know, definitely. And if you want to go ahead of that, please, under dig, go check out the peoples. But, <laughs> you know, it, it should subside on its own unless you have some kind of other scalp irritation happening. But just really just keep an eye on it. Okay, we hope that answer your question. Liar said that she loves your new song, Demetria. Woo! Thank you. Easy is my new single. The video is out. The single is out. It's doing great. I think I was nestled between Beyonce's. Oh, the Dark and Lovely Ladies did a whole video, y'all. Yes. That joke was so funny. Um, it was nestled between Rihanna's Army and Beyonce's Beehive. Ooh. So that's a nice place to be. So thank See. you guys so much for the support. Can we get a, um, a little uh, snake thing? You gonna be my pimp? <laughs> you, play my pimp. Yes. you know, I could play it right now. No. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no stuck up chick. I ain't picky. I just want what's best for me. I can't let nobody get the best of me. Part time love ain't my destiny. Oh, I, I ain't no stuck up chick. I ain't picky. I just want what's best for me. I can't let nobody get the best of me. Part time love ain't my destiny. Oh, you and I. Woo! Woo! Did you just throw a body? I did. Okay. Look at my eyes. <laughs> Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. So. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Friday's coming. My turn. My turn. Oh, okay, okay, no. Everybody then, covered. Why'd you say covered. my turn? And then we <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to this one. So oh, now, my goodness. I've finished my doll's cornrows. Okay. Okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some definition of her curls. Up in here, up in here. She already has a bit of um, some braid outs, but we're, what, some braid outs, uh, braids that we're going to take out. Um, and then we're just going to add some definition, use a little bit of diffuser, and then pick her out. Yes. And so for this, we are using the Curl Moisturizing Souffle. Coming to you. Laugh. Vanna! I smell like <laughs> Curl Moisturizing Souffle, bitte. And we are um, going to cocktail that a little bit with the um, twist and gel butter over here. Okay. We showed that to you before. And why are you cocktailing the two? Just for people um, to know, like, why do you feel like you need to cocktail? Them? So I actually really love the definition that the souffle um, gives, but I also really love the hold and the shine of the twist and gel butter. Okay. And so it's like the best of both worlds when you can get definition, shine, and hold. Bam. 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 So um, that is why I'm using both of them. Love it. 
Everyone is like, you better sing, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Sing. No, no one's asking me for, for no, my... No, no one wants to hear you sing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow, my God. See, that's why. <laughs> oh. No, Buki, no. Huh? No, absolutely sing it not. No. I'll stick to hair. Yes, Buki, absolutely. No. <laughs> Latika asked, can you tell her what a good shampoo and conditioner would be to use on natural hair? I mean... Girl. Duh. <laughs> Dark and lovely on that show. Hello. <laughs> Get you. Oh, and for those of you who are into like the bentonite clay type thing, the clumping can you, curls. Can you describe? Can you, can you tell them what that is? Okay. But... So she she was talking about this. The clumping curls um, gel is amazing. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite products <laughs> from the On Natural line. I'm sure y'all have seen me rave about it. But the other part of this two step system is the clumping curls clay wash. Okay, so those of you who like the apple cider vinegar bentonite clay type thing, it it completely cleanses your hair, but it doesn't strip it, and it actually starts the clumping process for you. Okay, so it's moisturizing, it's non drying, it's super deep cleaning, but it's really also starting the process of you know trying to define them curls for you. And anything that says moisturizing, all of the au natural products moisturize. They all really, really get into making sure that your hair is sealed and ready for that moisture to be there. So just check out the different things that they have. Mm -hmm. Figure Absolutely. out which combinations work for you. Like she just parlayed this whole souffle lock twist butter thing. You know what I'm talking about? About to get real gully for a second. Ooh, she why won't be able to do my hair like this. Rick you know what I'm talking about? Huh? <laughs> they got some everything for all of us. You know what I'm talking about? Who it is? Oh, it's me. Come it's in. Me. It's me. Why would you say it's me? Oh, look, 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 look. Wait, what's the small girl? Why? Thank you. Okay, so now you know. Y'all, we have a special guest. You gotta come on. You have to go say hi. I am so sorry. It's be what you want. It's a party in here, y'all. It's a party. I don't have anything to say. You should be talking with the glasses on. That's all I got to say. Hilarious. <laughs> Buki. Hi. Hey. How you doing? I'm it's oh, a party. It is a party. It is a party. It's it's a party. A party. Man. Sorry. Buki, Kenyatta and Laura said they want you to sing for them. But we, don't really, that? but we don't want you to sing for Who us, said that? So we're going to have to ignore I gotta that I got to give the people what they want. They don't all want it. <laughs> Are you going to sing for us or not? What song you want me to sing, Kenyatta? Oh, Kenyatta, Laura, let us know what you want Buki to sing. Oh, God. I got me out here cooning. No, it's going to be a GoFundMe for fixing it. <laughs> oh, I thought you love me. I do. That's why I'm telling you no. not to do it. <laughs> What's up? Are they want me to hear Franklin? Sing for Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Love. No. No, no. A word that comes and goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. But few people really know. Why is the church what dance? What it means to really You don't need to know what Demetrius drinking. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> don't even worry about it. We grown Water. over here. We grown on these parts. <laughs> Laura say yes, Buki. No, 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 Lord, no. Don't, don't egg Girl. this on. Don't egg this on. <laughs> so, Buki, what are you doing right now? You're just like raking through her I'm curls. Just, yep, I'm going through her curls individually, <laughs> taking the souffle, okay, and the twist and gel butter. And just put it in my hand and just kind of working through her curls individually. Okay. And I'm not. Shrinkage be real, y'all. Ooh. Listen. Listen. <laughs> Shrinkage be real. Um, also, I'm not doing a lot to her natural curl pattern. Uh, I do want that definition. Sometimes when, I don't know if you can kind of see it here. Um, you'll kind of see the product. But, yes. Um, I'm just gently working through the product on her hair. I'm not putting in a lot. You can still see that I still have product on my hand while I'm working through her hair. But I'm really just it, just adding a little bit of definition. But I don't want to disturb her curl pattern too much because that's what causes frizz. Okay, okay, okay. 
looking good. It's looking really nice. I feel real. Kelly, no, the products are not expensive. Um, you can get them at Walgreens. You can also get them at Amazon. Walmart. Walmart. Don't rush it. We hope they answered your question. Wait, wait. Wait. Oh my goodness, you are hilarious. Can y'all just say you better sing, Buki? Listen. Y'all got this book about to put this album out. Y'all meet me in the streets. You gonna stop this. You gonna stop this. How about it? Bridget uh, said she loves your hairstyles on Saints and Sinners and the quad. Thank you. Um, the cool thing about the, the cool yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> the cool thing about those two shows, especially since coming out as a natural. I, why do I say coming out like I just came up? With right. <laughs> especially, I've been okay. So true facts. I've been natural for like 14 years, but okay. I was so afraid of my curl texture because I really didn't know how to handle it. So in the last two years of really just rocking my natural hair, it's been so embraced. And I was really worried I wasn't going to get rolls. I was really worried the jobs were going to kind of dry up. And in all actuality, they have been loving it. Um, the quad allowed me to wear my natural hair and rock it. Saints and Sinners, season finale, Sunday night. Shameless plug. <laughs> See what I'm in. Um, they love the natural hair, too. So it's been it's been really, really cool getting to do that. And then House of Pain came back, and they allowed me to rock my natural hair there, too. So we're winning, y'all. We're winning. Winning. Let your soul glow. <laughs> Just let your soul glow. Yeah. Do that, Pookie. Shining, shining, shining. No, that's not that's the one. Not, that's, that's, that's not it. That's not it. That's no. not it. We don't know that's what that was. Not it. We really don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shree. That's my favorite song. Oh, <laughs> the foot tap, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I mean, mean it's it's <laughs> loud, strong, and wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wrong song. Wrong everything. <laughs> Demetria, what's your go-to hairstyle? Like, on any given day? Any given day, y'all will see me with a wash and go. I really okay. leave my hair up. Alone. I don't know how many people I know. Buki does their hair. I have to like do it for them. You do a lot of people's hair, Buki. Buki does my hair. You know my friend, she. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, like I walked in and you know, when y'all walk into the salon and you're with somebody for the first time, you kind of give them that side eye, you size them up, you're looking at their hair. I looked at her hair, I said, she got all of it. Buki. That's a proof. Say she hi to the people. Hi. <laughs> Shanita said, it's House of Pain back. House of Pain is back. Uh, Tyler Perry ben. heard you guys asking for. Can she answer my question? <laughs> <laughs> House Pain is back. I thought that was my moment. It, Sorry. <laughs> it is on OWN Network, Oprah's <laughs> Network. Um, Tyler heard the request for it. So the pains are back. Curtis and Ella are up to more shenanigans, as you will get to see. <laughs> And um, it was it was great to reunite with the whole fam. There's this one piece of hair that is wearing me out. Where is it? Find it, Jesus. <laughs> Am I losing it? Absolutely. <laughs> you are. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> is it I'm going to find it. <laughs> We're going to find it. We're going to find you. We're going to find you. To Bria. I hope I said your name wrong. Tal Bria. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to mess up your name. She wants to know, what's the best wash and go method, and what products should we use? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I just sound like Morris Day? You did. You did. <laughs> you want to go first, you want me to go first? I'll let you go home. We're going to let you go, we know what you're going to say. Right. Listen, Linda. I'm about to zoom in Listen, real quick. Linda. I do my wash and goes at night. Hmm. Okay? Especially in the winter time. Um... I get in the shower whenever I'm washing the rest of my body. I let the water <laughs> run through my hair. I use the clumping curls clay wash if it is a wash day. If it is not, I literally just saturate my hair with the water and I use the gel. Um, and I will twist it up as you've seen. Nine out of ten, it, I wake up with it a little bit damp, just enough for it to be able to expand and defy gravity the way natural hair does. I shake that thing out. I walk out the door. Mmm, love it. Hey. Tabria. Sorry, I almost had it right. Sorry, she was telling me how to spell her. Say her name. Come on. You better uh, phonetically spell that thing, y'all. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay, so for all my natural girls, I'm going to say this, right? So if you have, well, there's, there should be multiple tools in, in your arsenal of hair care. But if there's anything that you need to absolutely have, it is a pick. And why? Oh, Tell us why. Okay, so <clears throat> it helps. First of all, it's, it, it helps with volume, 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 and volume. 
and it doesn't disturb the curl pattern in the process. So sometimes when you judge it or we do this extra stuff, super cute, sexy, but um, it disturbs the curl pattern. And so with a pick, you literally go through the at the root. I'm gonna zoom in for you all. Demetri, put your head down. I can't see. No. <laughs> Um, so, actually, I wanted to draw attention to this just a little bit. So, you'll see that right here in this style, there's a little bit of a gap mm -hmm. in her volume, right? Because of the braids. Because of the braids. And so, what we want to do is just add some more volume there for her. And so, you just literally take the end of the pick at the root. Oh, yeah. And just... Oh, yeah, make it big. Just make it big. Oh, yeah. And you'll see that I'm not doing anything to disturb her curl pattern. <clears throat> I'm literally just working it in. And you just want to lift gently. So once the comb is, the, excuse me, the pick, I'm going to call it. Once the pick is inserted at the root, just lift. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to iron before you. <laughs> and, um, wow. Just gently pull it up. To help with some of that volume. It actually feels really good. Yeah. We can tell by your facial expression. Dang it. <laughs> My face gives everything away, yo. <laughs> Don't like her? <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out so cute. I cannot wait. Do you know how long it's been since I carried the one? It has been a long carried time. Carried the since one. I had she said carried the one. Braids of any sort in <laughs> my head aside from like, <laughs> like man, I was looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. It's, it's, yeah. It's like. It feels Thank really good, and I, I am ashamed to say I do not own a pick. I will be stealing hers. Ooh. So when she comes back and she says it's missing, oh, I did it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get wearing her suitcase. <laughs> So, Buki, you're finishing up. I am finishing up, and so I'm just literally just pulling it out a little bit more. I can see from the back, just from my experience, that I can tell that I need some more volume in here. So, okay. I'll take the pick. Mm -hmm. Get in there, girl. Mm -hmm. Let it happen. Ease into it. Camilla said it seems like a lot of work to go natural. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Goodness it's gracious. Not, you know what? And here's the thing I'm going to say to y'all, okay? All right? Oh, she about to get real. I ain't got no attitude, but you know. I am a mom. I'm a single mom. I'm a career woman. I am dating. I am doing Ooh. all of these things. You heard Suck it live. <laughs> Exclusive. Don't get Run it. it back. She's a mom. I got a mean shoulder she, for y'all, okay? She's a mom. <laughs> An actress. <laughs> I mean, and I'm, I'm about Indeed. to go on tour with Charlie uh, Wilson and... Um, and Johnny Gill, like there's a lot of stuff going on, but I take the time to do my hair to make that me time. We do not take that time to ourselves. We do not dedicate it. We have children, if we have jobs, if we have men, we give our all and our all and our all to all of that. Take that time for yourself. I used to call them a particular word I can't say on this time, okay? <laughs> call them forget them days. That's what we'll call them, forget them days. Forget the bills, forget the this, forget the this, forget the this. And really just dedicate time for myself. And I make that part of my regimen each night. I get myself recentered. I come up with a bomb hairdo the next day. I've given myself a scalp massage. I decompressed from the day. And all of it while I'm really, really taking care of my crown and glory, as the good book says. And make sure that I'm taking care of myself at the same time. Self-care. Mm -hmm. Listen. Right. Self-care. Well, so right now she's hitting up these edges. And I feel my eye crossing. I'm about <coughs> to have... Yep. <laughs> I just want You're my girlfriend. <laughs> Buki, what are you using? Lush jam? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm still using Lush jam. So again, our high school classic, which everyone used. High don't. school classic. Yes, our yes. high school classic. I'm using it for her braids and for her edges. So did you know that you do that? I, also, you can, I'm sure most of you do this, but when you are using Lush jam, if you want to just make sure that like your edges are <laughs> slick real, real good, put a, sorry, use a satin cap. I mean satin cap. Um, a satin scarf and tie it down for about 10 minutes and then take it off and go about your day. Perfect. Now, Krista, that's um, our Let's Jam gel. Just letting you know. I did find that hair. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, you want to show it up close? Oh, I saw show it up close. Here you go, Krista. This is what it is. Extra hold. So Boogie's putting the finishing touches. We're going to be so sad when this ends. We had so Honey, much fun. I'm so excited. I walked in looking like, who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk out looking all nice, walking down the street in my little shingle boots. Show them your boots. 
Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I did that. Do it that again. kind of wretched. Huh? I'm gonna, I have a sound effect. Oh, you do? Ready? Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Demetria Lachey says she loves you. Oh, uh, I love you back. Thank you. That's sweet. Hi, Lachey. But Buki, she was talking to uh, Demetria. I know. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love in the and DL office. Left. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Am I Halle Berry? <laughs> yes. Better, darling. Better. <laughs> Loving it. Honey. Perfect. All right. So, so nice. In the Show. festival, ready? It looks oh, like man. Like baby breaths. You know, like the little... Oh, that, yeah. to, 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 I can do that with Snapchat. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have that. my little bouquet. Follow us at Snapchat. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, how I'm... This, nice. this is... This is... This is... This side, you can see that she has tons of volume, super sleek on the side. These are all dark and lovely products. And um, if you want to take this up a notch, you can spruce up this style with, like I said, little flowers, baby breath. What was that thing? Sunflowers. The sunflowers people oh, do yeah. on the side of their hair. Um, there's this new thing, hair accessories called like the hair rings. You can like spruce it up with that. Mm -hmm. Just explore. Have fun. Festivals, Afropunk, they're all about like being yourself and being free. So when you go to these festivals, show up and show out and just, you know, do your thing. And even if you're not attending festivals, this is just so cute for spring and summer. Honey, because I ain't going to nobody's festival. <laughs> I'm about to go let these taxi drivers have it up in New York, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Demetria, Laura wants to know what's your snap? What's your snap? What's <laughs> Demetria, the number four reel is my Snapchat. I'm on there acting a fool usually with Angie Miami and Tori. Got a suit around the tongue. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lovelies, we're going to be wrapping up um, soon. Is there anything you want to say? Demetria, Demetria. I'm about to send a picture of my oh, afro you know sorry. Sorry. We don't have time. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Camera. Oh, this way. This is what we go through, Wait. lovelies. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, I wanted to meet you on set. drop us any more questions for Buki or Demetria, just leave them in the comment section. Of course, share the video if you loved it. I'm sure you did because we had a ball today. It was a lot of fun. Demetria, do you like your hair? I love it. She love it. I love it. Buki, I like that a great job. She can't say but she'll do your hair. Laura says you look flawless. Thank you, Bobo. All right, lovelies. We're, we're going to, are we wrapping up now? Yeah. We're going we're gonna to wrap up. We'll be back soon with another <laughs> special Facebook Live. But, Demetria, if you want to close out, give us something. Yeah, show the side so they can see the braids. Give us something. Give us something. Give us a profile. Woo. She's your <laughs> queen to be. I don't know why I got to do nothing to sing that song. <laughs> a lovely reflection to feel your royal fire. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <right. laughs> <laughs> we'll be back soon. Lovelies, have a great afternoon. Bye. Bye. Bye.